so once you've honed the engine block and you have the cylinders all ready, you've uh, prepared the surface of the deck and you have sanded the bores to the freeze plugs, the core plugs, and you've chased all the threads, the final step in preparing the block for assembly is to give it a good bubble bath. It needs to just be hot soapy water with a stiff brush is the best way to do that. So you really want to brush those cylinders out well. Um, clean off the block. More important to clean the inside than the outside, honestly, but uh, really clean it well. Look at all of the oil galleries. And you'll use <clears throat> rifle brushes in the oil galleries to uh, clean those out, and then you can blow, blow water through them. That oil galleries by the main bearings. You should be familiar with all the oil galleries in the block and you should clean all of them and make sure you can blow uh, soapy water through them and then brush them and then blow them again. The most important places to clean are inside the engine. Make sure that you clean the oil galleries and the crankshaft and then the connecting rods as well. Rifle brush through them, blow water through them, do that several times just to make sure all the dirt is out of them. And on the connecting rods we'll do the same thing, we'll clean them and brush them. Some of the connecting rods have oil holes in them and you make sure that you uh, Run a wire and blow some water or cleaner through the oil holes on those as well. Once you get the block out of the bubble bath, you'll want to dry it off. And then we're going to wipe the cylinders with lint-free towels and some uh, rust penetrant or oil. And we'll do that until those lint-free towels come out white. And so we've, we're sure that we've got all the the dirt out of the cylinders, all of the all of the material from the honing and so forth. But uh, anyway, so dry it and then wipe it down. See, those aren't clean yet, are they? And then once you have those cylinders wiped out until the towels come out uh, white, then you're done. But at that point, you'll want to keep the, uh, the engine block the crankshaft and any other components that you've washed, your connecting rods. You'll do the same thing, you'll repeat the same process basically with the cylinder heads. But once you've done that, you'll want to keep all of these in a plastic bag to prevent them from getting dust or dirt or other uh, materials on them. We'll keep them sealed up. It's getting closer. We're, we're getting uh, less and less black coming out each time. Of course, some people forget uh, and don't realize that if you're going to clean the block this well, you also need to clean the crankshaft this well. You'll also need to clean the cylinder heads, the pistons, if you're going to reuse the pistons. Um, there's no point to clean the block and then fail to clean the, the crankshaft or some of the other components because the dirt that's in them will get into the oil just as easily. That's looking pretty good, not, not coming out black anymore, so that's what we want it to look like.